All right, guys, in this video, we're going to learn about how to measure using an architectural scale. So I'm going to identify the steps as we go along measuring. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure, uh, I'm going to identify where my one inch is. We're going to be doing problem number two. So one inch equals one feet. That inch number or that quarter inch there, one and a half inch there, three eighths inch there is the number that you're going to be identifying on the edge of your scale. That translates to one inch equals one feet. So the first step is identifying that. The second step is to identify where the zero is. So the zero is right there. And zero being on the bottom is going to correlate to all of the other measurements that are on the bottom. So one feet two feet, three feet, and so on and so forth. We're not going to worry about these 20, 18, 16. That's for another scale. So one inch equals one feet, and that's the zero. The zero is going to be placed on the line, which is the third step. So first is identify where one inch equals one feet. Second step was to identify where the zero is. And then third is to place the zero directly on top of one of the points that you're going to be measuring from. So when I place my zero right on the line, so this is from zero, one feet, two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet, and then some. So this is the fourth step. You're going to round to the lowest number, meaning even if it's five point, it's so close to six, but it's not there, it's going to round down to a whole number that is five. So we can measure down to five. The logic being all the decimal places we're going to be picking up from the back end here. So it's five something, and we're going to figure out what that something is. So it's five feet, and if we count from the inch side, it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six inches, nine and it lands right on nine. So it's five feet, nine inches. Now, the second thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and repeat this. So I'm gonna repeat the process this time, and I'm gonna try to see if I, I can identify all the steps along the way. So to get even faster, you automatically start moving one inch equals one feet, immediately identifying that, you're gonna place the zero directly on top of the line and then slide the ruler over here. You're gonna find the nearest whole number, which in this um, case is four. So that's four feet. Again, five is further away, but all of these decimal places we're gonna be catching here. So we're gonna slide it to four. So I have four feet, some left. So four feet, three, so immediately jumping to three, four and a half inches. So four feet, four and a half inches. Okay, this time, for the last time, we're going to be doing it as slowly as possible. Uh, again, first thing we're doing is identifying what scale we're on. One inch equals one feet. For example, question number one, quarter inch equals one feet. So we're going to switch to this side where it says quarter inch. This corresponds to the qu quarter inch that is required for the first problem. So for one inch, again, you can switch the ruler around. And this, this way you're going to see it. We're measuring from point E to F. So I place my zero on one of the, one of the points, and this is going to give me the feet. Now, notice how it goes zero. One feet is in line with the zero. Two feet is here. Two, and then some. So I'm going to slide two two feet and how many inches do I have it is one two and you can say 2.25 
Again, you will see a different number the closer you get to it. Go to the nearest one that you understand, and there's a tolerance that is acceptable. So, two feet, 2.25 inches. So, two feet, 2.25 or two and one quarter inch equals one feet. So, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to explain the worksheet. So, A. B corresponds to line A to B. So does C, D corresponds to line C to D. E, F is measurement from E to F. So what that means is each question is going to have three answers. You're going to be coming up with three answers for each question. Okay, let's move to the second half of the page. For the second half of the page, I want you to understand that on this worksheet, we're also going to be drawing lines to specific lengths. So the length provided is 42 feet and 6 inches. Notice that there's no inch sign here, but it is 6 inches because the feet is given. 8 inch equals 1 feet is the scale that we're using. So again, I'm going to be turning to the scale that says eighth of an inch. So as we turn to eighth of an inch as a scale, we're going to place my starting point at the decimal location. So notice how from zero to here, I only have six division on an eighth inch scale. So each increment equals two inches. So from zero to the middle is six inches. So that's the six inches where I'm getting from here. And then, since the number is at a smaller font here, so I'm going to look at the 4, the 8, the 12, going all the way up to 42. So going all the way up to 42, my line starts here, right at that mark, and I'm going to draw my line all the way across. So that line is 42 feet, 6 inches. Please like, subscribe, and comment below.